forgot to tell you the other day, so I'm gonna remind you this morning. That apple cake, you ever heard that song, it gets sweeter as the days go by? That's what the deal is with this thing. Can you see that? That is super moist right there. Look at that. It's just really, really moist. See that? I think it's ready mm -hmm. for eating. It's ready, Daddy. It, it gets better as it sets. Yeah. Daddy, bite it. I will bite it. <laughs> Tell Mama, the mosquitoes bit you, Skeeter bite. It's lunchtime. I'm gonna attempt to eat one of these cherry bomb peppers with my lunch. kids are finishing their seat work this afternoon I'm gonna work on my to-do list the number one thing on it is make a butternut squash pie first we have to bake the butternut squash so I put some foil on the baking sheet we're just gonna spray it with a little bit of cooking spray so I'm gonna see if my knife will handle this oh yeah I think we can get it now we remove all the seeds so we just place them cut side down and that's it while they're baking, I'll do all my cleaning stuff. By then, these should be done. You know what I think we need to make tonight? Vegetable soup. I have a lot of okra, I have carrots, I have green beans. Yeah, we're gonna make some garden veggie soup tonight. That's what we're making. That way I can use these green beans that we have left over from our green bean out there and we can use up this okra yeah we'll get that started here in a minute and let it just sit over there and simmer okay we got everything out now we wipe it down I hear ya I hear ya
45 minutes was just enough time. See how soft these are now? I can just like barely push and pierce them with the fork. Look at that pretty color. All right, we haven't finished the to-do list yet, but I need to go ahead and get the pie crust in the oven and start mixing up the filling. We get in here, yes. I only have Christmas pie plates. That's fine. We can bake spirits bright all year long. As soon as the oven beeps, we'll put this in and we're just gonna bake it for about 13 minutes. I'm gonna pierce the bottom with a fork, a little bit on the sides. And we're ready. Okay, so we're just gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna use the KitchenAid for this whole process here. It's gonna peel out very easily, so I'm gonna make sure I don't get any of the skin in there. So the first thing we're gonna do is just turn the KitchenAid on the squash and let it mash it all up. Might help if we plug it up. <laughs> All right, now we're putting in a quarter cup of brown sugar and half a cup of white sugar. We'll mix that in. I just had that moment, you know, when you forget that you cleaned out the refrigerator and you go and open the door and it's like a happy little surprise. Okay, we're putting in three fourths of a cup of heavy cream, three eggs, Now for the spices, we're putting in a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of ginger, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. One tablespoon of melted butter, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and the last thing, a teaspoon of vanilla. So now we just pour this right into the crust. It baked for 13 minutes. It's really liquidy, but that's the way it's, you know, it's fine. That's the way it's supposed to be. Now this is going back in the oven for 45 to 55 minutes. I'm gonna set a timer for 25 minutes so I can check the crust. If it's starting to get too brown, we'll put some foil over the top of it or around the edges. Okay, y'all, all I have left on my to-do list now, where did that to-do list go? I just have the outside stuff. Oh, I forgot the bathrooms. We'll do that in a minute. Um, I just have the outside stuff, knocking down spider webs, sweeping the porches and all that. Uh, practice songs, singing start back up again this weekend. So I have to get myself warmed back up on the songs because I am the one who will mess up. And I think that's it, songs and the outside stuff, right? Yeah, I'm gonna save the mop in the living room and my bedroom and all that stuff for tomorrow. Before I go outside though, we're gonna go ahead and start this soup. So I'm gonna turn this pot on, put a little bit of olive oil in here. I have some biscuits left over from breakfast, but I think I'll throw together some cornbread too real quick. We're having some pretty cool days. I know a lot of y'all have been saying you're still like in the 90s, some in the hundreds. Today, I think it's in the low 80s. That's the timer for my crust. Uh, it's still looking good. We won't put any foil on right now. I'll set a 10 minute timer and we'll check it again.
this is great. It's absolutely wonderful. It's uh, It almost to me tastes like a cross between a pumpkin pie and a sweet potato pie. It's not as sweet as sweet potato pie and it's not as spicy like I don't mean hot spicy I mean like spice spicy as a pumpkin pie it's like the perfect blend of both it's really creamy and smooth I sprinkled a little cinnamon sugar on the top I forgot I was supposed to do that so I did it you know a minute ago but anyway this is good 